And what a difference a day makes. I'm in Greater Manchester where it is raining. This time yesterday it was snow. A tricky mix across the country. A band of rain moves north, bumping into the cold air, bringing further snow across parts of North Wales, Northern England and the risk of ice. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. So it's icy underfoot here, but this time yesterday in Greater Manchester, we had snow lying on the ground. Now it has turned to rain. And actually, the story is for a big band of rain across all of England and Wales, but it bumps into the cold air. So on that leading edge across the hills of Wales, across the hills of northern England, there's further snow to come here. And across the far north of England and Scotland, where it isn't yet raining, temperatures have fallen below freezing. So any of the wet weather from the weekend here is freezing. It's a slow transition to things turning milder and wetter as we head through the next few days. Here's the all-important details. So my live location this morning is Durnham Massey, a gorgeous National Trust property where we'll have you feeling festive and brightening your morning, even if the weather won't on their mile-long trail with gorgeous lights. Now, yes, this weekend, as we heard from Nick Dixon, there was a lot of snow around. It was heavy showers that came in thick and fast, heavier than we were initially forecasting, which is why we had the amber weather warning in force. But no amber warnings for today. We have yellow across northern areas of England, Wales and Scotland for so some snow and ice and in the south we have a yellow warning for some rain the latest satellite and radar picks out that wet weather a band of rain it's heavy across england and wales and it's all moving its way northwards this time yesterday we had temperatures as low as minus 12 degrees this morning we're down to around about minus five or minus six so already it's slightly less cold as this air set to move in <clears throat> as we head through the day today then we have bright skies sunshine greeting us but we have the cold weather in scotland but also yes icy underfoot and further snowfall likely like i said through the hills of northern england and north wales another five to ten centimeters over the higher ground of 300 meters but staying very wet and wet windy in the south Good morning to you. We are on a light trail at Dunham Massey this morning, surrounded by stars. These are the only ones that many of us will see this morning because it is a cloudy, wet start. Of course, this weekend, the big story was how heavy the snow was across northern areas of England. And this morning, with temperatures sub-zero across Scotland, it could turn fairly icy. But the main risk actually is for a band of very heavy rain moving north across the country, bumping into the cold air. And the latest satellite and radar picks out where we have this wet weather and also it is turning to snow. But this time just across the highest ground of Wales and across northern areas of England, so the Pennines and the Peak District. Across these higher routes, we could see five to 10 centimetres of further snowfall. To lower levels, it's a mix of sleet and snow. Now, as we head through the day today, we stick with the rain through England. It's very wet and actually pretty windy in the south as we head through the morning. The rain continues for England, Wales, slowly moving its way north with Scotland and Northern Ireland, the clearest conditions, the best of the sunshine, when for many of us, it's a pretty cool day ahead. Temperature is below average five or six degrees at best all top temperature so how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days well let's take a look at our 